Abraham Ohazy is an NFT and Web3 specialist and is going to talk to us a little bit about any company that is interested in getting in this field. So Abraham, I mean, what are the benefits of a business getting into NFTs? So NFTs is a, a, a new technology in, in finance, basically, you know, investing where people can actually get involved with a business that they believe in. Uh, they believe in the brand, they believe in the company, they believe in the people running it. They can now invest in it through NFTs and through NFTs, um, you now, as a business, build a community of people that are attached to your company. So these people not only are investors, um, but instead of like traditional investors that um, take ownership in your company where they usually invest and kind of sit back and wait for your company to do its thing. These people actually take ownership with NFTs where now they're a part of your community helping it grow and build mm -hmm. because they feel that ownership yeah. attached with then that NFT. Then do they get any benefit in the increase in the value of the NFT? They would if they own it, right? So, exactly. Yeah. So as the value goes up, of course, the holders, their value goes up as well. Got so it. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it benefits everybody. It's like full circle for everyone to grow the business. Okay. Can any business... Uh, have an NFT pro platform? Yes, any business can, and they should have an NFT attached to it because it's it's almost like a loyalty rewards program for those that are okay. in your business. So it's okay. better than having a client, it's better than having a customer. You have people that, they feel that ownership within your business. And um, with that, you have the benefits and the utilities that come with that. So that's something that okay. every business should have attached to their who should a company talk to if they're interested? Or say it's an art museum or a chamber orchestra or something, who should they talk to to help create an NFT? If they're like technologically, have no idea how it works. Right, well you have people in the space right now that can uh, direct them as far as developers that help develop these okay. NFTs. Uh -huh. And then the artwork behind it, because there is artwork behind that actual NFT that actually um, sits in your wallet. Um, so that actual actually has benefits and utilities attached to it as well that these businesses can um, get involved with. But the main thing are um, people like myself who are actually building in this space, who see where this space is going, understand where investments um, are going as well, um, or somebody that can actually help a lot of these businesses yeah. grow and um, figure out these NFTs. Interesting. What should be the first step that a company should do if they're interested in offering NFTs? The first step is finding out exactly um, what they would like to offer um, for those holders that would hold their NFTs. What kind of benefits can they offer? What kind of utilities can they offer? Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like um, it's, it's about the community. You want to be able to build your community. And you're going to hear that word a lot in NFTs is yeah. building the community. Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of these uh, businesses' um, main focus will change into um, more of community building rather than just kind of marketing out there to the masses. Right, and I guess the community members can all kind of interact with each other as well. Exactly. We may not be able to do that under like a traditional type. Program. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like nowadays you have more, um, you have more businesses in the Web2 a space that are focused on emails. They want to collect their emails, and that's like an email database. Mm. But with NFTs, you're focused on your community, and a lot of that's with you know Twitter and Discord, and you actually have like real interactions with the community. Uh -huh. So, what are Twitter Spaces? So, Twitter Spaces are a place kind of like Clubhouse, where people um, like the founders, CEOs of these businesses can actually get you know, live conversations with their community where people can request to speak, come up, actually ask questions to the CEOs, the founders, the team members, um, people that represent your business. They can actually have that interaction together um, on Twitter spaces, uh, very similar to Clubhouse, but um, I believe it's a lot better than Clubhouse. Okay. <laughs> and then how did you get into NFTs and Web3? So back in 2016, um, I started a basketball team out in San Diego called the San Diego Kings. And um, with that basketball team, my main focus was building the community first. Um, I had a line, um, my, 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 my slogan was, we're gonna win in the community before we win in the gym. And that's what I instilled within the players. And our main focus was getting to the youth and, and growing the community. And over time, I seen where the community started reaching out to me and the basketball team, instead of me having to reach out to the community to come actually like promote market or even like host an event so um, with that I had a buddy who got into NFTs uh, last year and he reached out and he said hey what you were doing with the basketball team with building the community first and marketing is exactly what this space is all about so I, I looked into it and fell in love with it and I understood you know I understood how an investor thinks you know when an investor looks at something investing they look at the history they look at the people that that are running the business and where they're going and so when I got into NFTs and I seen like these roadmaps that people were building 
as part of these NFTs, when you invest into those NFTs, what kind of roadmap, I started realizing like, okay, well, what has that person done before for me to feel comfortable enough to see them fulfill that roadmap? And once I understood all that, that's when I realized this space is the future and I got really excited about it. Well, it's a, certainly an interesting space <laughs> to is. watch it. It does feel very early. It is very but early. But the technology behind it is just amazing. So Definitely. thank you so much, Abraham, for yes. coming in. Thank you for having uh, me. I really appreciate it.